Good morning, starfish. It's Miss Amanda. Guess what? I'm in my house. I'm sitting on my couch. I am not in my classroom this morning, but I wanted to do a really cool video with you guys this morning. Um, it's early too. It's only about 730. Uh, and the sun's not out and it's actually nice and cool outside, but it's not raining and I checked the weather and it definitely did not say rain. So we'll see. Um, but in your packet, if you've received your math packet, which I hope most of you have by now, you received a brown paper bag and Miss Rochelle and Miss Michelle had put on there and some instructions about finding some loose parts or making a collection. And I wanted to show you kind of what some of the things I found around my house that can be used for counting or for, um, you know, math everywhere. So the first one I have is I have some coins. So in my house, we have a big, big bottle of coins that are left over when we, um, you know, go to the store or do something like that. And all these coins are circle shapes like this. They're different sizes. So if I had a collection of coins like this, or if you do at home, I might sort by size. So I'm gonna put my, my smaller circles over this way. So what this one's called is a dime. It's worth 10 cents. And then I might go to the next size. So I'm gonna go to my medium size ones, which are your nickels. And then I might go to these, and then of course my penny. So what I might do then is I've got four groups of coins, one, two, three, four. And I might say, how many of the big circles do I have, my quarters? And I might count them out, one, two, three, four, five. I have five. And then I might come over here to my dimes and I might count them out. So I might say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I come over here to my nickels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then just one penny. And then I might ask if I had a bigger per, um, an older child who's about four or five. Um, who might, you know, be uh, fairly comfortable with numbers and things like that. Um, I might say, which one has more? That would be the dimes. And then you say, okay, you take the dimes out, which one has more? Be the nickels and then the quarters and then the, the penny. And you could even write them down. Um, you could do like a graphing thing on your tin frame that you got um, in your packet as well. And, you know, then show your, your child with tally marks and explain what tally marks are, then they can count five, 10, so forth and so on. Um, another good way to do like collections like these is to use your tin frame and you could say, I'm gonna put two on this side. Can you put two on this side? And then you place two on your side. Um, collections that are the same, like same objects, similar objects like coins, socks, um, rocks is a good one. Um, it's easy to kind of, you can sort them out by like one or two attributes and then um, talk about how many you have of each. So I'm gonna put my coins to the side over here. I have another, um, this wouldn't be considered a collection because the things are not the same. This is more like loose parts. So Miss Amanda went into her junk drawer and I pulled out some things that I thought were kind of similar, had similar attributes kind of, and I wanna see if we can sort them today. So I found a thing of chapstick, I found a highlighter, I found a hair tie, I found three bobby pins. I don't know if you guys know what bobby pins are, but they go in your hair, Miss Amanda uses them all the time. I found a small screwdriver, I found a push pin. Can you see that push pin? Yeah, push pin. I found a, a wall like adapter tape. Uh, this is called a uh, measuring tape for like measuring um, for your clothes size or measuring your height. Um, this is a like a toolbox measuring tape and I found a um, flashlight. So if I was to sort these, I might sort by if they're cylindrical or round. Um, so I have like the flashlight, the chapstick, um, the screwdriver would go there. And then I might do 
things that pull, you know, that pull out. So that would be like the tape, the measuring and the other measuring. And then I might do, um, you know, the other ones would be kind of like on their own kind of thing. And then you can talk about them. Have your, like a younger person, a younger child, I should say, sorry, um, with their bigger person, um, talk about what they see. You can say like, um, what colors do you see? Or uh, have them kind of describe it to you. It's a great way to kind of get word flow and to get vocabulary and exposure. And then you can say, you know, um, how else could we sort these and maybe see if they can make sort them in a totally different way than maybe I'm even thinking about it. You know, I'm, I'm like an adult brain. So kids can sort like it happens naturally for kids. Um, they like to sort. It's actually kind of comforting to them. It's actually fascinating to watch um, kids when you give them items and they naturally sort them by certain attributes. And sometimes we can um, further that by asking them, look at them again and can you sort them a different way or do you see other similarities? Um, so like for the instance, purple. So this is purple, that's purple. I might put that together, then blue, um, then we'll say white. So that would go there with that. And then, and then black, black. And then these would kind of go together because they're kind of metallic. So I've just sorted in a totally different way. Um, and then you can count how many are each item. Um, you can also do patterns if you have similar items like the coins, you could do like, you know, small, big, small, big, small, big, so forth and so on. I think Miss Michelle's gonna be putting up a really cool pattern video. So um, she can show you kind of how to do patterns with things at home. Um, I just wanted to show you kind of how you can do collections at home or loose parts. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. You don't need any special materials. You can just go into your, you can go into your toy box and find small things to kind of sort around the house. Um, but make sure you always ask your bigger person before you start pulling a bunch of stuff out. Um, and make sure that, you know, they're, they want you to do that. And then of course, when you're done, you gotta go put it all up. So Miss Amanda is gonna go put up all her things so that I don't have a big mess. And I will see you guys on Thursday for circle time. Okay, have a wonderful day and I hope the sun comes out. Bye Starfish.